Good evening. Well, Tina's live. Thank you guys for joining us for our third week. Tonight, we have Jamil Luna as our special guest. He'll be joining us roughly in about 10 minutes. So as, oh, sorry about that. I want to apologize for last week for our interruptions. Um, we experienced some technical difficulties with YouTube. Um, I had no control over that. So big shout out to Dillis Davis for um, finishing up for me. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Ma. So Monica S. Martinez, author. <laughs> um, I'm the author of Seasonal Husband, Dulce de Leche, Tantalizing Erotic Thoughts and Encounters. You can catch me on all media sites uh, under Monica S. Martinez. I can also be seen on Amazon for the books. So again, Monica S. Martinez and the S stands for sex. So thank you. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. And I want to give a big shout out to Mini Moments. Um, Marilyn sent me some items for me to try out. And one of the items was this whipped shea butter, and it was called baby powder. Girl, I just want to say thank you so much for it. I really appreciate it. It's like almost done. So I need a refill. This is like life right here. Contains um, shea butter absolutely wonderful and she also sent me all these like wonderful different scents to go hold on one second guys logging on okay um she sent me all these like oils for me to use so one of them was called bombshell which i absolutely love it um contains pomegranate and um, a little secret here, I actually put some of the stuff onto my pillows to help me sleep uh, the lavender one that she had sent. So again, thank you to Mini Moments. Marilyn, we appreciate you. And one more shout out, guys, before we get this party started. We have the GNA headphones here. So you can go to gna.com. They're gaming headphones. However, you can use them for chatting. Like if you're walking around the house and you want to talk on the phone, you can do it for that. You could do it for FaceTime. Um, it's portable. So you can pack them up, take them with you wherever you want to go. And they actually control the sound really well. I am. Um, I know I wasn't supposed to do this, but I did. I was trying them out and I had them in my ear driving and yeah, I couldn't hear anything. That was pretty dangerous. I don't advise that you do that. I should have never did that, but I did. So you guys can hit me up on Facebook to ask questions. If you have any questions, you can log on and I will answer them. So I'm going to log on to my Facebook. Where are we? Um, Imalia. Let's see. OK, so I need to see if, let me see if we can, we could do a chat here in YouTube, guys. So if you have questions, you can go ahead. If you're a subscriber, I believe. You can ask the questions in the chat. If you go up to the left corner, there's like a little messaging thing. So feel free to jump on there and ask any questions that you need for our guests, for anything, you know, anything. I'm here. So feel free to ask away. And again, I could be reached on all media sites under Monica S. Martinez. So that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. Um, I'm going to have to mute this for one second, guys. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my kids are home, so... <laughs> Uh, we get noise traveling, so you'll have to excuse that. 
if you hear the dog. So I apologize in advance, but it's live, so we don't really have control over what happens here, um, especially when I'm coming from home. Again, our guest, Jomil Luna, is scheduled to be on in roughly in roughly 10, no, oh, eight minutes. And he's great. Okay, I'm getting questions and people asking me where I am. I'm here, I'm online, where are you? Let's see if this is working. Oh, I think he's joined us already. Jamil? Are you there? What up, Monica? Can you see me? I can see you. I can hear you. How are you? All right. All is good. All is good. Great. <laughs> um, I didn't even give you your full introduction yet, so I was going to let me pull up your bio right quick because uh, you're going to be with us for the duration of the show. Is that cool? Like, can we keep that's you? To that's totally cool. You can take advantage of me today. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. It, it's been a it's been a minute since I've seen you, actually. I know. So I haven't seen you since freaking um. Yeah, in November when um I came out and I did your show for you. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. So this is the least I could do is is you know pay it back. This <laughs> is like you know we gotta support each other, right, in all our endeavors. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a, it's a little bit of a delay, that's why. Okay, okay. Yeah, just a little bit. So just give it a moment. Um, I'm trying to find what I what I did. Hmm. Now, okay, I think I got it right here. Let's see. I'm gonna. I want to introduce you correctly, because you're like kind of a big deal, especially in my. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're a super thank you. Big you know. You know. It's funny because we'll talk about it maybe during the show even. But I really sometimes I forget, like the things that I do, like as far as personality. So I. I don't. I don't. You know. Trust me. <laughs> Listen, you be you on this show. We, like I said, we just appreciate your presence. Um, yeah. I'm just thrilled to have you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so. You know what? I'm having difficulty accessing the email with your bio. Would you mind just telling everyone who you are and what you do? I don't mind. I got you. So, um, so question, Monica, um, is this live already on YouTube? Yes, you're live. Oh, girl. You're All live. right. Hello. I'm going to be here chilling. Okay. So I'm on. Hello, Monica. How you doing, girl? Hey, boo. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. Formal, right? Um, so, just to introduce, my name is Jamila Luna. I am 32 years old, originally from New Jersey, from Camden, New Jersey. Uh, for those who don't know, I grew up in the hood of the hood. Mm -hmm. And I little by little north, right? So, I moved uh, up, I did my undergrad there, moved to Newark who lived there for a few years. And three years ago, I moved to New York. I reside um, uptown, um, Heights, in Woods, um, with all the Dominicanos. Okay, family, we all cousins. <laughs> and um, so what brought me to New York was work. Um, when I graduated with my math self, I said, okay, if I'm gonna do public health, where, where, where best to do public health than New York City? So I um, started working uh, in the Bronx, and I used to work for this organization in prevention. Um, and so there, basically, I dealt with LGBTs. Um, we did testing, um, based community, 
comes to um and basically i've been doing that for I think we're experiencing some difficulties with your connection. Your public health career. I've done some type of LGBT work. Um, is, I currently made healthcare foundation. Um, I'm sorry, I couldn't. I think we're experiencing okay. some technical difficulties on your end because you're coming in broken up. Okay. Can you check your connection, maybe? All right. Like, yeah, you know what? Really Let me scattered. My connection. Okay, so yeah, so so basically, um, I've been working in public health for years. You know, some of my first jobs have been in public health, and I really love it. I, I genuinely uh, I'm totally Jamal helping the community. We're having difficulties still. Um, is there any chance that you you can use your phone for Hangouts? Jamil? Um, yeah. Yeah, because we're like, you're coming, you're fading in and out, and I just don't want people to not hear what you have to say. Got it, got it. So let's. See, all I gotta do is is uh click on the link, right? All right, all right. Yes, um, right, I'm just you. gonna send you the link. So, Monica, okay, I got it. And here, so let me see if it'll connect. All right, perfect. Where are they? I'm sorry, guys. I'm looking for something. Yeah, where where do you put them? It's fine. It's my handsome son looking for something. Are they okay? It's okay. Sorry, guys. We okay. She sent it to you in. Here we go. I'm clicking. Okay. So here we go. Open. Okay. All right, you got it. <laughs> Do you got it? <laughs> you might have to turn the computer off. Because I think we, we'll get feedback. Okay. There we go. Okay, ah, I see you. So much better. So much Oh my better. God, so much clearer. You see how phones have surpassed freaking um, laptops and computers. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so let, let's start this again. Let's start this again, because I, I, I want everyone to hear everything you have to say, because like I said, you are a huge deal. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I want you to welcome Jamil Luna to our show. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So please tell our guests who you are and about you, just about you. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna start all over again. Okay. So, so, okay. So first of all, I should, I should have started with saying thank you, Monica, uh, for believing in me. I believe you girl. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, and thank you, Dillis. Um, thank you all for, for, for being here. Whoever's watching. Um, just as a full disclaimer, this is like my first time doing this. I feel like I'm really not that technologically advanced when it comes to um, these new age things. But um, and people would think, right, because I'm very big, like I'm very onto social media. I'm always doing videos, but I'm really not that savvy when it comes to technology. So this is new for me. You know what? But I will always try something once. And you know what? I might do this again. Hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'll introduce myself. Please. Um, so I was saying a little bit about where I grew up and where I was born. So, so I'll start there. So my name is Jamil Luna. I'm currently 32 years old and I was born in Camden, New Jersey. And for those who don't know, it's literally across the bridge from Philly, from Philadelphia. Um, Camden is, uh, literally kind of like one of the hoods of the hoods of the world. Right. But, um, but it's a beautiful place. It taught me street smarts. And I went to school for my book smarts. Hello. Yes. <laughs> 
So let our viewers know, like, um, what you got your degree in. Yes, yes. Um, so, so I went to school for my master's in public health. Is what I've been working in for the past, I think, my entire career. Even when I used to do internships as a as a teenager and things like that, I've always done public health. Um, so I went to Rutgers University in, in New Brunswick, and little by little, I moved my way up north, Rutgers Newark, for my master's in public health, um, to always land and find jobs that really um, skills in terms of, you know, being a Latino, Spanish, um, being a man of the community, and really helping those who need, right? Usually communities of color, Latinos. And so uh, little by little, I moved up north, and then three years ago, I moved to New York to New York as um, my career in public health. I, I got as the assistant director of prevention at Boom Health in the Bronx. So I used to work um, in the South Bronx. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to, to you know, move my way um, through other organizations like the Hispanic AIDS Forum, where I was a director of LGBT programs. And I now work at AIDS Healthcare Foundation. I work with HIV positive individuals. So I say that my, my career has really come full circle. A little bit of everything. I really have been able to um, help my community in terms of education, of uh, testing, know your status, right? We hear about it all the time. You can only tell the people of the world that people that don't know, it's something that we have to drive into people's heads is to always be safe um, and always you know strive for the best health that you can possibly have absolutely i mean you 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 hold a huge role in the community um you know having the lgbt community come out get tested but that goes across the board for everyone um you know we live in an, in an age where you should not be having sex unprotected unless it's with your like partner that you've been with for, you know, an extreme amount of time. Mm -hmm. Right. So like you, you hold, you hold this position where you're having, you know, the community come in and it's free testing, right? Exactly. It's always, that, that, that's the fortunate part about um, being a nonprofit is that all the services are always free, 100% free. Um, you know, and where I am now, we we even have we can even offer test positive free healthcare, right? Because we want them to be connected. So so yeah, so definitely important, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and um, guys, if you haven't picked up, his tagline is good for me. Hala. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love I it. Either. <laughs> you know what's funny, Monica? That um, I've done, I've done like interviews in the past, and I think I have for, I've forgotten to say hello, and and that's really when people think Jamil Luna, they're like, oh, hello, you know, like the hello guy or something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I kind of I started off literally as a gag, right? It started off as something funny. I guess I have like this inflection in my voice where I just, it's like, I'm singing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love me. it. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely yeah. love it. So I have a couple of questions um, for you. Okay. Well, you've answered a few of those. Okay. Um, we want to know about the Love Yourself campaign. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been asked about that in a while. All right, this is this might get a little bit deep. Uh oh. Hala, <laughs> people of the world. Mm -hmm. Um, the love yourself campaign. I gotta go back in time. So I'm 32. I'm not gonna go back that far, right? But when I was 27, I entered a contest, um, a male pageant contest. And it was something that I never thought I would do. People kind of, you know, you should try this. You should, you know, look into it. 
and I fell in love with it literally just because I like to dance. Um, and so that's kind of like what intrigued me. And then, and then I got sucked into it. I got sucked into the life of pageantry <laughs> <laughs> because, because then it became a personal challenge to me and my character and who I am as a person. So I said, what does this mean for me? But also what does it mean for the greater picture, which is the community and the world, right? If I'm going to enter um, like any pageant, um, I don't want it to be about the pageantry. I don't want it to be about just you know uh, the good looks or or you know walking in your swimsuit or you know just the superficiality of what it could be. Well, but let's just take it back a minute though, because I mean, I, I've seen pictures of you, so I'm sure you know part of this pageant from other people were like, oh, he's so good looking. Look at the body, the this, the that on him. And people used to tell me that people used to say, oh, you know, you have nothing to be scared of. Like you'll win just based on reality, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, no, I said, because when you're competing, who, who can bring it to the, to, to the schoolyard, you know what I mean? Um, I knew that what was going to get me through this pageant was this. And that honestly was what got me through. And so thought about the other side of it I said what if I win I said what am I gonna really do with this um and fast forward I won thank god um <laughs> because I said well now I'm gonna do something for the community so the love yourself campaign was um a campaign to show showcase and to and to show people hey how do you love yourself each and every day like like it sounds cliche but everything really starts with loving yourself first um and that's not an easy process. It, it's, it's still not an easy process for me each, each and every day. Um, I have to wake up and consciously say to myself and say, thank you, God. You know, thank you for my family and friends. Thank you for all those special people. Thank you for all the blessings that you've bestowed on me. It's a process. And we forget about that, right? Because I think that as human beings, sometimes we look, um, it's okay to look to others, but sometimes we forget and we don't look within first. Mm -hmm. And let's say famous people, we look to them to have, like to attain, I guess, what they have sometimes. Um, not knowing that they themselves have gone through these, I guess, life journeys, um, you know, and, and, and they struggled and they're human beings and they have to wake up every day and love themselves in order to be the best version of themselves. Um, so that campaign, I, I did a little contest where I wanted people to submit videos. But it was, and people submitted poems, people submitted videos, and they said, well, I love myself every day because I do drag, or I love myself every day because I do poetry. Things that people do um, to basically make themselves feel, to be their genuine selves. You're a perfect example of how your poetry translates into something bigger than just words. So I think that, that that's how you kind of love yourself each and every day by, you know, writing your poems and sharing your gift. So. No, I just love myself, period, because I remember. Hello. <laughs> I just remember. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I remember a point in my life where I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to love myself. But, yeah, I, I love me. So <laughs> there's no questions about that. You have to, yes. Flaws and all. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we have a question um, for you. They said, um, what do you see as the new dating trend in the LGBT community? Gosh, that's a very good question. So I think I'll talk about a little bit of personal experience. Um, there is no secret that a lot of people are using um, social media and apps to, to date. First of all, they're using social media and apps to meet. And then I would say they're using it to date, right? Because then you meet, if you connect, if there's an attraction, if there's something more, you take it to the next level, depending on the individual. Obviously, as a gay man, um, you know, there's a plethora 
of of apps out there that they call like the hookup apps, right? And it's like Grinder and Jack and Scruff and you know all these apps that you know it's known that it's meant for like maybe hooking up. I'm gonna be honest. You ready, Monica? I'm ready. Give it to me. I'm gonna give it to you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I I met my current boyfriend and it was an amazing thing because who you know who knew um but we connected obviously yes we connected physically but connected and we exchanged numbers and I went back and we actually established something more than just the physical I've actually been hearing more friends who are now in relationships that they've and they've met people um and you know right finding a relationship or finding a partner or finding love it's not going to happen for everybody but if you're lucky enough to find it then so be it you got to just roll with the punches you know what i mean that's the times we live in yeah, I, I was talking with Jess Brannis last week. We were talking about how, like, this dating trend now is running relatively quick. Like, people together for, like, three months, you would think they were together for years because everybody's trying to cram it all in into these months. And we were talking about how, like, you know, it's okay to date and, you know, get to know these people but to say you actually fall in love in three months, it's like, it's impossible because you're still meeting with this representative. You know, my mom always told me like, hey, you know, you date someone for more than six months because they're gonna, they're gonna do their best to impress you in the first six months. Anything past that is their true self. What do you say about that? Because dating trends have changed so much. Yeah. Eve, that things definitely are moving a lot quicker. Um, and, and I mean, for example, like New York, New York is, is an abundance. It, New York is the buffet of life when it comes to dating. And when it comes to, especially like, you know, dating on, on these apps, right? Because you've got millions and millions and millions on, um, and it's like, what's new and what's next, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like been a trend, but I will speak from personal experience. Every time that I've gone through, I say my period of like, let's say what's new and what's next, because I myself have gone through it, right? Where you just like, whatever, like I'm too focused on my life. I don't have time for a relationship. Like, right, I've gone through that. But I've had to make my own personal conscious decision to say, well, no, to actually get to know someone. And then it depends on what that means for me. And what, and what that means for me is, not not necessarily just sleeping with someone on the first date or right or actually getting to know someone for who they are necessarily you know the easy things which is always i guess first and foremost um physicality you know what kind of job they got what kind of car they got you know uh, their social status or whatever you know you really got to get to know people because well, I mean, it shouldn't only just be based on those things, like what, what you know, what they have. I mean, because I, I believe that, you know, if you build together, things can be, like, super amazing. Right? I, I agree. And, and two people really got to be on that path. Absolutely. You have to be on the same page. Like, you can't just go jump ahead and, you know, be on Chapter 10 when your partner's on Chapter 5. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so yeah, definitely on the same page, but I, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I'm just on the outside looking in as far as this dating scene, because, you know, I'm married, been married forever. So I, I just, I, I watch, I watch how, you know, relationships happen on Facebook and then all of a sudden, like a couple of weeks later, they're done with it and people are, you know, putting up pictures of new people. And I'm just like, Jesus, my head is spinning because it's happening so quickly, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, well, if you took time to get to, to know this person, you know, maybe things could be, you know, a little long lasting in a sense, right? Because they, they say, if someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. 
that is true. I mean, I've always heard that too, and I've always paid attention to that to that phrase because it's, it's it's true. People will show you the true colors in the very very beginning. Absolutely, and sometimes we just put on our blinders. Um, but you know, from a heter heterosexual perspective, how is it different? Um, in the LGBT community as far as relationships because I don't personally see any real difference like my sister um, is gay and she's been with her partner I want to say 10 years if not more and they're married gotcha so so <clears throat> that's a question I've actually thought about for years um, is that for anybody who is um, LGBT, it's almost like you have to, you're born, it's almost like you're born again, right? You grow up for all these years within yourself that you genuinely, sincerely are gay, straight, you know, um, um, transgender, whatever the case may be. And it's almost like you have to be re reborn again. And then, right, we live in a heterosexual society, um, and that's how we grow up. And we ourselves have to teach ourselves because there's nobody teaching us about these things. And I think that that's the most difficult part, and that's really the big difference between a heterosexual relationship and an LGBT relationship is that there's no, there, there was no, at least, you know, for my generation down, I would say, you know, there was nobody teaching us how to be in a relationship. And yeah, it's not that different because love is love. But I would say that when you deal with the challenges of society um, and being discriminated against and not being able to show affection in public, having to hide, um, having, I guess, the blatant discrimination and hate, um, you know, where you have to sometimes be afraid for your life. Um, that's the difficult part. And that's why I think Anybody who's LGBT, we kind of, you know, we, we have to have a little bit of tougher skin. Um, and, you know, that's why it's so important for us to have, like, places to go um, to show each other love and affection. Um, you know, I'm one of the fortunate ones who lives in New York, you know, and if I happen to be in Chelsea or, you know, some part of the city where I feel comfortable, you know, I don't mind holding hands and, and you know, because I feel safe. This is a, you know, for the most part, a, one of the safe cities, right? But imagine I was in the deep south or something um, where, you know, there's signs <laughs> and there's laws <laughs> against LGBT people. It's, it's really hard. So um, I guess so in that aspect, it, you know, um, it's just a little bit harder for people who are LGBT um, to express themselves openly. Um, but at the end of the day, relationships, you know, they're basically the same. You know, people have their ups and downs. Um, you know, they love each other. Um, you know, and, you know, I, I, I would say that sometimes same sex, you know, there could be, um, I guess, power dynamics, right? Mm -hmm. I know sometimes with the guys that I've been with, you know, you think about it, like two men, two strong personalities. Um, sometimes there is a little bit of the butting of the heads, but at the same time, we know what we like. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Work. We like the same thing. <laughs> So we have a question. Um, they want to know when when did you know that you you were gay? Like, and what were there any repercussions from your family when you came out? Yeah. So, so I would say from a very very early age, um, I would say I knew I was different. I'm a, I'm gonna go back. I knew I was different since I was like four years old, just because I was a very delicate, feminine little kid. Um, used to get made fun of a lot because everybody used to be like, oh, you know, he looked like a girl, he's, he's gay, blah, blah, blah. So I used to get teased, right? Um, by the time I got to seventh grade, that's when the hormones really kicked in. And I started having crush, crush, you know, crushes on boys in class and in school. And that's, how, and that's when I basically knew. But then I suppressed it, right? Mm -hmm. so funny story. You know, the only depiction of gay I ever had was on TV. So... I think around that time, you know, you had movies um, and you had like, let's say the birdcage, that's like a classic, right? 
and it took place in Miami. So I used to say, oh my God, when I turn 18, I'm moving to Miami. <laughs> because I thought that everybody in Miami was gay or something, you know what I mean? But that's my naive self as what, a 13 year old kid, you know? Um, had girlfriends, of course, and all that stuff. And, you know, but I always knew that I genuinely liked guys. Um, and it wasn't until 17 that I made the final decision to experience the whole thing, if you know what I mean. Hello. <laughs> Yes. So, and ever since then, um, you know, I pretty much, I pretty much knew. Um, there was there an aspect of the question that that wait, like they wanted to know when you came out and if there were any repercussions um, when you had to like, I guess, sit down and tell your mom or your dad. Yeah. Um, the repercussions, um, thankfully were only the worries that they had for me. Because once they found out, um, so my grandma asked me, um, I, I disclosed to her, I was honest about it. And what I know now looking back is that at that point they were just worried because they said, you know, the conversations they had with me were like, be careful when you go out. You know, if you're going to gay clubs, you know, watch out because you never know if you're walking out who is gonna, you know, gay bash you. Or like, let's say for example, you know, like I said, gay people, we don't necessarily, we can't, we don't have like this open display of affection where, where we can pick up, right? Where we can meet people like at a cafe or something like that. You know what I mean? Maybe nowadays, but not back, back, back in the day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so like, let's say, for example, I was, I were to come on to the wrong person, you know, and that person didn't like the fact that I was coming on to them. You know, what if they, you know, we got into a fight because of that. You know, so it's like those little things that that really make a difference. Um, so the repercussions were basically the family just having this heightened heightened sense of worry for me. Well, that's good. Like they didn't like say, "Oh, that's horrible" or anything like that. Because I know a few um, of my friends who are, you know, in the LGBT community. They got the whole "What the hell is wrong with you? You're going to hell" kind of thing. So we're glad to know that your, you know, your family was very supportive. So thank you. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I mean, what are your? I'm sorry. What was that? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we have a question. Like, um, like, cause you know, I I do the adult novelty. So, um, the readers want to know about like what what are your thoughts on toys in the bedroom? So I, I've tried it recently. <laughs> so you're just a beginner? I'm just a beginner. Can you believe it? Oh, my no. God. Um, I got my first dildo when I turned 27. <laughs> and and I, then I didn't use it until, like, a couple years later. <laughs> what? So you had a dildo and then never used it? And I, and I just, it was like a gag gift from one of my best friends for my 27th mm -hmm. birthday. And then I just kind of like put it in the closet, you know, cause I don't know, maybe I was a little more, more prudish when I was younger. And I said, no, like whatever, I like the real thing. And you know, why am I, what I'm going to do with this latex plastic thing or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but when times get hard, it goes a long way. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. I say right? so. <laughs> you know, and then you think about it, and it keeps you from sleeping with the wrong person. <laughs> I'm just saying, listen, it can help in so many different ways. Like, people just underestimate the use of toys. Exactly. Uh, All you need is a little imagination. <laughs> and it goes a long way. Or, or just the right vibration, so to speak. A amen. Amen. There you go. <laughs> Uh, which brings me to uh, the tri-monthly club, Tantalizing Productions. We offer like a tri-monthly club where we um, send out boxes of goodies every quarter, okay. right? So I was just wondering, do you own one of these? So let me click on you, on your, on you real quick. Okay, what, what is that? That is the silver bullet. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this civil bullet. <laughs> so this is great for breast stimulant. Well, for the ladies, clitoral stimulant. Right. And also for you guys, for the scrotum area. 
because that's one of the G spots, right? Yes. And a great a great use for this toy also is posting it here, turning it on while you're doing oral sex. So, ooh, the vibrations are crazy. Oh my oh. God, are you serious? <laughs> Super wow. serious. Wow. Yeah. Who would, thought, who would have thought that it had more than one purpose, that you could put it here, and so as you're performing oral sex, then it vibrates. Absolutely. I, I believe in multi-purpose because, you know, we, we got to make the toys go a long way and, you know, to spice up the relationship. So exactly. I'm surprised you don't own one of these. We'll talk. You'll send me your address and I'll send you one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, and, 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 like, so on the topic of toys, you know, I'm definitely open to it. I feel like I'm just so much more open-minded nowadays and, you know, you want to bring toys to the bedroom? Like, let's do it. Let's let's try everything, you know, cock rings and dildos and, you know, anything for the, for the anus, whatever. You want to see something up there, <laughs> you know, whatever. Well, I, I think that toys just help bring intimacy back, you know, touch back. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a dildo, so to speak. You know, we, we can talk about creams and lotions and candles that contain pheromones just to awaken the senses in, in, in general. Exactly. I agree. I agree. You know, we have, like, we have a whole array of, like, wonders that kind of make people's heads spin, like, ooh, that's good. Because, you know, my, my saying is I be always believe in the happy comings, so. In the, oh. <laughs> Wait, in the happy coming. Happy, happy coming. coming. The ha not the happy ending, the happy coming. Happy coming. We're going to keep on going. <laughs> right. We're just going to keep coming and moaning and all of those Amen. things. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I believe in those things. But, yeah, I'm quite surprised you don't own one. So, yeah, I definitely will be sending you okay. a silver bullet. But make sure you inbox um, to me directly or Dillis your address and then we'll mail that out to you as a courtesy of thank you for coming on to our show type thing thank you so much okay definitely my, well, my boyfriend will be happy <laughs> <laughs> just um really quickly just tell tell the audience where they can find you you know if you have any upcoming events what your social media sites are yes Okay, so so definitely, I do have an upcoming event, actually. So on May 18th, um, actually, at, at my agency where I work, we have a beautiful space. Actually, where you performed, Monica, remember the beautiful <laughs> space that we had? Um, so the address is 475 Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn on the second floor. And we're going to have a Find Your Destiny um, sit-down style talk show host um, style of, of an event. And basically, you know, I did put the book here because I figured you would ask me. So I'm like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to plug this real quick. How you doing? Absolutely. <laughs> so I had the pleasure to of uh, being introduced to a very wonderful person. And his name is Samuel Acosta Hinoa. And this is him right here. And he wrote nice. this beautiful book on basically tips on how to find your destiny, right? Because sometimes we just need a few tips. We need to sit down with ourselves and maybe sometimes write, maybe sometimes read, maybe sometimes discover different things that we don't know about ourselves. Um, so I'm going to be hosting. They asked me to host. They say, Mr. Hala, can you host? I was like, of course, Hala. Yes. So, um, you know, and it's something that I genuinely love doing. And, and, and I got, you know, not only is, is, is he going to practice his craft of inspiring others, but I'm also going to, you know, practice my craft of, of entertaining people, entertaining the public. And, and, you know, what better way than to do it live in person, right? Uh, so that's on May 18th. Um, and the event is from 6 to 8 p.m. Nice. Um, wine and all that good stuff. So definitely come through and food. Um, and then as far as my social media, um, basically, you can always search my name, Jomil Luna, J-O-M-I-L, last name Luna, L-U-N-A. Um, and I also use at... Casa de Luna J. So at uh, Casa, C A S A D D E L U N A, the letter J. Um, so that's basically for my Instagram, um, my, my Twitter, um, and my Snapchat. And then for you know anything on YouTube, you can um, search my name. Um, and on Facebook, basically search my name. 
I, I'm going to add you on Snap right now. Hold That's on, because I'm going to log into my Snap to make sure that I get you. Um, and guys, you I mean, guys and gals, please feel free to follow him because he is hysterical. He puts up his videos on Facebook, and I, I'm like literally cracking up all the time. Thank you, thank you. And, and you know what I will say to the whole social media age um, and the times we live in? Um, I genuinely use social media um, as 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 an entertainment tool, not only for myself, because I, I swear, like, you know, I just want to feel good every day, you know? So I feel like if I have the ability to make other people feel good by laughing, which is what I love to do, um, why not? And so that's really what I use it for. Um, so I'm a goofy personality. Um, you know, a lot of people would never believe what I do as far as, like, I guess my career. Because they're like, oh, my God, but you're so silly, but you're so goofy. And I think that you're just this, like, hello guy, this hello personality that, that that's all you say is, hello, hello. <laughs> no, but you're so much more important into the, in the community. Like, it's, exactly. It's, exactly. it's totally like you have two different personas. Exactly, exactly. You know, and, it, and, it, and it's nice. It's nice, though. Again, repeat for Snapchat for me. Um, so uh, do at Casa de Luna J. Okay, at you know what? I, hope, I hope it's at Casa. De, if not, it's, 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 it's Jamil. Hello, Luna. Is that I forget? There's so many. There's so many freaking social media things that I forget. <laughs> okay, at Casa de Luna, de Luna, right? Try at Casa de Luna J. But I'm that's going it. to I'm gonna I'm gonna try myself. Let me see. Ah 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 ah. No, okay, okay. that's not it. No no no. Okay, so try this one. What is that? Jamil, Jamil Mister Hello. I gotta log in, but yeah, Jamil, Mister Hello. No, wait one second. Let's see, Jamil. What was that, Jamil? Yeah, Jamil, Mister Hello. Mister. That's for the Snapchat. Mister Hello. Okay, gotcha. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna add you, Monica. But yeah, you know, and and so, and so, you know, any opportunity that I have to like, you know, be a goof and, and stuff like that, it's 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 fun, you know. I use my cat a lot in my videos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I noticed. I absolutely noticed that. That was cute, though. Yeah. Um, again, just tell everyone where they can reach you if you have a website for your job. Yes. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Um, so the community stuff first. Um, so anybody who's ever interested in getting tested um, or connecting to healthcare in some way, um, you can go to a, a hivcare.org. Uh, the agency I work for is AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Um, so ahf.org. Um, and then from there, you know, you can get connected to care. If you ever want to get tested, we are in the community. We go out to all the pride events. We test. Um, and then anyone who wants to find me again, my name is Jamil Luna, and you can find me either at, at, at Casa de Luna. J. Um, sometimes I'm under Jamil Mr. Hello, or you can just search my name, Jamil Luna, and you'll find me somehow. Um, and, and no, and at the end of the day, um, I just want to make people happy and, uh, leave, leave a legacy of positivity in this world because we're all here for each other and, um, always love yourself so that you can go on to love others. That is awesome. You are super awesome. Um, remember, guys, stay protected. Go get tested. It's very important. Make sure you go visit him for May 18th for his event. And this, this show will be broadcasted again so that people can hear all your links and all that wonderfulness. And we appreciate you coming out and joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. So we'd like to have you come back at some point. Um, I'll have Dillis reach out to you and, you know, connect with you once again. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And so I'm so happy for you, Monica. Anything you need, you know, you can count on me. Um, so definitely, thank you so much. Vice versa. You know, I'll be there. If you need me to perform. I got you. There you go. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> sexy or non-sexy? Either one. I'm good.
I'm good. Yeah, we, we, need a, we need a sex toys demonstration for the next event. <laughs> we got to. Let's set it up. I'll definitely do it. Absolutely. Definitely. That's like my favorite thing. Like, awesome. I get excited about talking about these toys. Like, let's not even play games. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There you go. We just we just created an event right here live. <laughs> Absolutely. That's it. Right here. Right here. You're going to get an in-home toy demonstration. Well, not like live demonstration, people. Let, let's just clear that up. But, you know, where we're just talking about the toys. Talking about them. <laughs> so, again, everyone, thank you for joining us and thanks Jamil for joining us. We appreciate your presence here on the Monica S. Martinez TV Live. All right, thank you everyone who watched and thank you Monica and Dillis, thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. So um, before we go ahead and like zoom out, I still have to talk about some of these items. So you can stay on and hang out with us Jamil if you want. Okay, I wanna learn about some of these items. <laughs> so that the tri-monthly club um on tantalizingproductions.com you can become a member it's sixty dollars every quarter so that's like twenty dollars a month where you end up getting a box of toys and you get a full-size toy in this box you'll get other like lubricants all, all kinds of goodies could be in this particular box but during this month as we mentioned we have the silver bullet which is great for clit stimulation breast stimulation and on his scrotum baby so and gents so that means doggy style this goes right underneath his sack and you turn the vibrations up and we are talking happy happy comings for everyone involved the next item up in this month's tri-monthly club is the coochie cream i know you guys heard me about it last week so this is great for ingrown hairs razor bumps um, you can shave any part of your body with this. And this particular one is a uh, frosted cake. So they smell absolutely delicious. And ladies and gents, worst case scenario, you run out of hair conditioning, you can use that as a hair conditioner. So, you know, again, I believe in multi-purpose. And this happens to be one of those multi-purpose items. And another item we talked about last week was the nipple nippler. So this here is watermelon. This is great for your breast area. So what it does is send warm, tingling sensations there. And we can also put this on the tip of the penis, ladies and gents, because this will create a nice taste and create those sensations on him as well. So, safe sex, right? Wrap up. Make sure you wrap up so guys. And we want to thank Mini Moments for being a sponsor and sending her products here for the Monica S. Martinez show. So Marilyn, I need some more of the Shea Butter Baby Powder because I am almost done. It is awesome. So make sure you visit her website at, let's see, where is this? www.minimomentsonline. And her Facebook is Mini Moments. So feel free to give her a shout out or visit her line of amazing products. And last but not least, my guys, is the headphones from GNA.com. These are like super awesome. Jamil, are you a gamer? So I'm not a gamer, but I can imagine that these are awesome headphones. These here, um, I had these sent over to me, like, to try them out. I did some horrible things. I had them in my ear while I was driving just to test the sound control, and, oh, my God, I couldn't hear anything. So it's kind of dangerous. I shouldn't have did that. I know it was kind of dangerous. But I was like, ah, they're headphones. Like, what, what's the worst that they could do? I, you, could, you could hear, right? But, no, I couldn't hear anything. But they're great for gaming because they're portable. The microphone is I. Like, super super crystal clear and i use them for like skyping and like chatting on my phone so thank you to gna.com so visit get your headphones and that will conclude our show for the night you can visit me on any media website monica s martinez facebook instagram twitter the Monica Martinez website is still being worked on. We're getting that situated. So hopefully in another week. Jamil, do you have a website? You know I do, Monica. I always forget. 
um, because I'm so much more on social media, but basically you can go to jamiluna.com. And I have a lot of my uh, more meaningful, very like, um, you know, special videos on there. And and I have my bio um, and basically, you know, more ways to find me and contact me on the website. So jamiluna, J-O-M-I-L-L-U-N-A.com. Okay, well, thank you. You guys have a wonderful evening. Happy coming and have lots and lots and lots of sex. Oh, let's not forget that May is Masturbation Month in case of, in case those of you who don't know, now you know. So masturbating every day, good for the soul. Good for the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. So happy coming. Thank you for joining Monica S. Martinez. Happy coming. Good night.